Look at what I did. Look at what I did. Look at what I did. Look at. Hey guys, my name is Bushe and welcome back to the Bai Bushe channel. I hope you guys have been okay since the last time I talked to you guys. I've been <laughs> deca deca ring, but yeah, I guess that's what adulting is about. Also, sorry that my voice sounds like this, like I'm sick. I'm sick. I don't know if it's because I was out in the cold or if it's Corona, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm sick um but yeah guys so basically in today's video i have recently as you guys know um i've taken up painting as a hobby started in like jan and i was just playing around you know painting like when i felt like it and whatever but i was like hey man let me do something a little serious <laughs> let me do something serious so yeah i kind of went a little bit wild and basically i'm just gonna be talking about like what i did um i took a, a 30 day 30 day painting challenge upon myself and i painted 30 roses for 30 days and i had never painted a rose in my life like the first one <laughs> where's it i didn't put it up but the first one <laughs> that i that i drew before i knew about this challenge let me show you <laughs> so this is the first one and <laughs> it's just like it's the light at the back okay you can't really see it let me do it like this so this one i painted on the 30th of march and yeah look this is what <laughs> came out and i was just like okay this is good this could be good and then i started painting and painting and when i painted this is what i got <laughs> and i'm so happy i'm so happy like i was dying the entire time but yeah i'm proud of myself anyway guys let's get into the video the video is about like things that painting just told me about myself about life about actually painting so i hope you guys enjoy the video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i will see you in my next video hey guys um so <laughs> as you can see um i had decided that you know what after doing this 30 day challenge i am literally going to paste up every single one so i can see it with my own two eyes with my own two eyes because hey i being so gola be me so gola i was dying i didn't think i'd finish i literally finished on the 30th day um the last two weeks were so tough on me because i was also going through my own things i just thought i'd speak about like what this process has taught me and maybe how i want to move on going forward you know so basically for me um the first point was the discipline and consistency part right um i'm not a very disciplined person i wouldn't call myself a very consistent a very disciplined person and in fact a lot of the things i've done um, have been out of obligation you know you go to school and then after school you know the first the next step is you go to varsity and you go into varsity because you need to work and all of these things right um and i don't think i really really applied myself to these things like yes i'm a smart girl and i got through it somehow <laughs> i got through it but i really don't think that um i was really interested in all of these things right and with this painting practice um i learned ubudaibo consistency is really key you know i think consistency rolls over into discipline um because when you're showing up every day then you also have the discipline of saying Ubuti, okay i'm seeing that this works and this doesn't and the things you can continue to apply um 
and the things that really won't work for you right and already in the first nine to twelve days i was shocked because like i was just really taken aback by the fact that oh oh my word um i'm looking at my first painting that i did like painting number one and that looked good um but the one that i really really attempted first that i showed you guys in the video that was looking like hey and like you know <laughs> it wasn't really looking good and um it just showed me that when you're disciplined you know and discipline you hold yourself accountable and you do all these things if you apply yourself and if you show up and you try to apply the things that you learn then things will improve you know <laughs> definitely will improve the next one was don't give up or giving up yeah if i speak beloveds beloveds if i speak Yo, hi, if I speak, beloved. Yo! <laughs> Look at me. I'm an artist. I'm an artist, bitches. I'm an artist. <laughs> You see this one don't give up i shame i was sure that you know, like everything else that I've, i start i wouldn't finish this because i was already rooting against myself because i just knew Uti, that that's been my life you know um um and also like i just i was tired you know like it's not easy coming back from work and then saying okay <sighs> let me paint you know you're tired um you also have like your work deadlines that like kill you throughout the day and coming back home to paint was just like a lot and mentally i was also like not in it i remember like painting it on like day 14 or something and thinking yo i'm so tired i think i should just take a break and then continue like next month you know which is like the month of may and i was sure you know because i chilled for like two three days i was not painting but i don't know what happened and I, I just got back into it you know and i think it's just you know the discipline thing talking yourself through it and letting yourself know that this is something that you really do want to do um and also i i think i'd also resolved it in my mind that i acknowledged Uguti, look you're not fine you're tired um mentally you're not okay and i was just okay with the fact that sometimes you just need breaks and i also had to acknowledge that i had consistently been showing up for like two weeks so i'm not saying giving up is bad but also pushing through um and not giving up is also not bad <laughs> so yeah i'm very proud of myself you know another thing i learned is rest rest is so important guys yeah I cannot stress enough that rest is so important, you know. In my giving up era <laughs> of this challenge, I honestly, yeah, I was just really tired. And I guess in the in that period where, like, I was taking, like, breaks, you know. Like, I try my best to, like, paint as much as possible during the week. So, like, let's say I got through, like, four paintings in the week. And then I knew on the weekend um, I'm not working, you know, or like I'm not really busy. I don't have like serious errands to do. Then I knew, okay, I can do like four paintings on the weekend, right? Two on Saturday, two on Sunday. And then I knew I'd covered four days. But yeah, a lot of the times I just felt like I was really fighting for my life, you know. I'm <laughs> sure. I really felt like I was um, fighting for my life. It taught me that um, it's good to slow down. Um, it's good to be patient with yourself as well. In the periods when I did feel like, yo, I actually just need to just rest a bit and then I'll recuperate and come back to it. I'm the most patient person I know. But I was realizing, man, you know, especially on the weekend like i was just rushing in the morning to get my stuff done and i wasn't giving myself time to to be centered i've also like taken so much time to just like enjoy my saturday mornings and like 
do my things at a slower pace obviously when like on days where i have errands to run i don't really like to be patient about those like i just want to get things done and then come back home i slow down i've slowed down like a lot more now um and i take like a lot of time to myself um you know i wake up in the mornings and i have my breakfast and i journal and i just think about like a lot because i'm a person who's like anxious a lot about like her future even her present and like the stuff that i'm doing um it's 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 brought about a newer and welcomed layer of patience in my life and i'm so grateful and so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video comment like subscribe and share especially comment guys i love comments please comment on me talk to me okay talk to me i love i just love interacting with like people online that's my thing um but yeah hope you guys are well hope you guys are having a lovely time this month and i hope you guys are just looking after yourselves i will catch you in my next video bye